Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 4, part 199. Let's try this again. So, Maserati MC12. That's what I'm going to be driving for this segment. I tried using a different Maserati. It didn't quite work out. Plus, it didn't really fit the mold of uh, what we're going to be doing here, and that's racing supercars. So, to the supercar open, our last body style event. Here's the entry list, and here's the venues. So, let's get started with our first race over at Magello. Hey, returning to Magello. Okay, here we go with the MC-12, a proper supercar. That was a very, very large tack, holy shit. And off we go for two laps around Magello. Oh, Magello. First trip to Magello in quite a long time, and our first time trip around the full course in even longer. Oh! Rossi and Muller having a disagreement in the turn one, still bumping off each other. Sparks flying everywhere, holy shit. Hold in. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, hey, test drive. Fuck is this? this is Forza? What do you think it is? Where are you going, Evans? Yes, I have titch alerts on. I'm trying to be more engaging with my audience so I can grow as a channel, goddammit. Will it work? Absolutely not, but hey, it's worth a try. Uh, if Rossi would be kindly... It would be so kind to get your Reventon out of my goddamn way. Big-ass Lambo. I remember when I was completely anti-alerts. And it's like, eh, as long as it's not intrusive, it's not that bad. Plus, you know, has a uh, higher potential of actually, like, I don't know. Is Twitch Prime worth anything? No. Really? Alright, Muller, get your ass back here, and you're really fucking quick, Ferrari. Forgot how quick that Ferrari is in a straight line. I did a lot of these supercar open hosted races in the uh, world tour, so. I remember how quick that Ferrari is in a straight line. Oh boy, scoping out cars to film. Test drive. Being the epic investigator man. Scoping out them digits. Oh god. Hi Moore, how you doing? What's up? Pardon me, sir. Probably have to do some blocking down this front straight because that Ferrari is hella quick. Paying very close attention to that gap. 
Okay, no dive needed. Or, no block needed, I mean. The dive was needed. So it contributed to me actually being able to win this, so yeah. So, first race down. I'll have more fun with Muller and his Ferrari 599. Yay. Okay, time for race two. <coughs> Excuse me, at Catalonia. Holy shit. Big sneeze. Alright. Big tack. <coughs> More sneeze. Everything sucks. Okay. Oh, we're three wide. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Especially since I really don't have anywhere to go. Evan's got a really bad launch. Ooh. Squeak around the outside, maybe, of Weber. If I can hold my line. Aw. Oh. oh, God. Multiple men trying to do the overtakes in a very small spot. It usually doesn't end well. Yeah, I wasn't even going to attempt to dive on Muller because I knew he was going to do that. I'm really, I'm kind of in a precarious spot here because I'm got to be mindful of Muller trying to overtake Rossi while I try to overtake him, and I completed the pass. Okay, that settled itself uh, rather quickly. Gotta get around Rossi and his big red Lambo. His big red bull. Or whatever the fuck. Yeah, I used to really like the Reventon when I first saw it in Forza and like first drove it because I'm like, whoa, the gauges are really cool, man. And I'm just like, eh, eh, it's another Lambo. It's another big all-wheel drive Lambo. And a series of big all-wheel drive Lambos. Excuse me, Rossi. How the heck are you doing? Good thing, uh, it's a good thing the engine mapping is set to race mode on this thing. So you see it, well, I don't know if you guys can see it on the stream or in the video, but I can see it on the, uh, tack here. It's in race mode. It's got a clock underneath it, ooh. Which is one hour behind the actual time for me. Because for some reason my 360's clock is just one hour off of what it should be. Because I don't even know. What's my favorite snack? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I really thought of what my favorite snack is. Yeah, I have no idea. I swear the attack on this car, it just does not go with anything else that's in this in this freaking gauge cluster. It's great. It's such a contrast. Still looks nice. Oh hey, more's in a second. Uh it also reminds me of some uh, ridge race for some reason. I don't know why, just because like, the big numbers and the big bright and the big, big, big. But that's just me being weird, so, you know. It's whatever. Hey, I win. Miller taking second, of course. Alright, two races down. Three to go. More affinity level ups. Alright, race three. 
At the Alps. I think this is their only trip to the Alps in the series, so hey, that's cool, I guess. They didn't tug their dicks too much with this series. They only have one trip to the Alps instead of two. So, ooh. Oh, e. I do a slight steering adjustment. It's always a scary moment when you have to adjust your steering in a turn. Don't know if you're just gonna go rocketing off the track. There's no way in hell I'm out accelerating Evans. He's in a goddamn Koenig sag, sig egg, 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 sig egg, sig egg, 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 sig, 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 But good start so far. Sec uh, up to second. have many, many, many opportunities to get around more. It's really just pick and choose my spot. And I pick this spot right here. Alright, there we go. Easy peasy. And just like that, I'm gone. Unsurprisingly. So let's just hit my marks here on this last lap, and uh, yeah, victory will be mine. We can move on to race four. Ooh. Whoa. So close to the rail. Don't mind me, just taking the complete wrong lane around this turn. Mm, in some spots, fast around the Alps is pretty difficult. Definitely have to hit your marks. Well. But, you know, that can be said about every track, really. Also, is it me, or is that right-hander, that specific right-hander there, tighter in, tur in uh, turn six? In uh, Forza six? Because... Feels like I can carry a lot more speed around that turn in this game than I can in Forza 6. I don't know about 5 because I haven't played 5 yet because I don't own 5 yet, but. Definitely remember struggling a lot with that turn in Forza 6 with just it feeling a lot tighter. I don't know. But anyways, I win by almost eight seconds. Seven and a half seconds over more. Holy crap. Alrighty. Well, that was a very dominant win, so, uh, off to race four. Okay, let's try this again, except to have a better start this time, because I lost way too much time to Muller from not being able to overtake these guys efficiently. So let's try this again. Holy shit, much worse start from everyone else this time. That's really gonna help me out. Okay. I'm just gonna dive underneath Esposito, who's trying to dive underneath Evans. Let's do it again. Three wide around turn three, because why not? Is 
So yeah, Road America. Woo! It's a cool track, and it's a very high-speed track. And these guys have a speed advantage, very much so. On me. So I'm gonna have to be really good at turning this car. And also do stupid shit like that. Okay, Muller's got the lead. Oh, come on, Esposito. Oh, shit. Every time I dive underneath Esposito, he also dies underneath someone else. Just, no matter what the situation, Esposito try like, is just an annoying piece of shit. Motherfucker. And yet, he somehow always finds his way up to, like, thir the fucking podium a lot of the times. The bastard. Oh. He's dealt with and gone, so. Let's just put all my focus on Miller here. This might be the place where I have to make the pass. Like, the winning pass. Because he's gonna just drive away from me down the front straight. So, you know what? We're going for it. That dive went really well. I'm honestly surprised at how well my car stuck. I thought I was going to just go flying off the course because of how late I broke. Or, yeah, how late on the brakes I was compared to Mueller. A slight block on him. Yeah, that went really well. Sweet. Here's really the really biggest part I have to of the track where I have to defend. Everywhere else I should have not like the all like all over advantage on Muller, but we'll be able to stick with them at least. Oh hey Torrent. We went for the dive. Couldn't get it though. Got a little damage on the sides. Round, round the carousel we go. One lad turns to hop and fucking never. Seriously, the carousel feels like it just goes on and on and on forever. It's great. Meanwhile, you know, Ross has been shuffled outside the top four. Big Lambo is not really working out for him here. Okay. Wait, is Rossi down to sixth? I swear Rossi was in sixth. I'll have to look at the results here. He is in sixth. He got fucking beat by Russo. Very good. Oh, and Weber passed him at the last second. Holy shit. So Rossi ended up set, uh, seventh. Very good. Way to go, dumbass. I was full of insults tonight, aren't I? Well, anyways, I took a couple tries, but uh, let's move on to our finale of this. Uh, the Okie dokie. So, our finale takes place at Silverstone, the international course, not the Grand Prix course, just the international course. So, let's do this shit. Well, I've got a really good launch. Bruce, uh, not Bruce, so Kato had his all wheel drive launch, but. Esposito was in the way, because Esposito's always in the way, because he's a fucking shit. 
a fucking shit. It's like the Julian Palmer of Forza, he's just in everybody's way and he sucks. Haha. -ha. Anyways, who have we here with a huge lead but Rossi and not more? This is a shock. Are your parents split up, Torrent? Oh shit. That's not good. Yeah. Joe Palm joke, meanwhile, Kevin Magnuson. Honestly, I haven't followed Formula One enough this year to know, like, Who's the shittiest of the shit? I just know everyone shits on Palmer. Anyways, final lap here. And supercar open. And I have the superest of supercars, clearly all my victories have proven. <clears throat> Magnuson's wrecked about three or four people this season. Oh, well then. Oh shit, that video editing progress. Oh god. Bimmers for days. Or just two. Hi guys, how you doing? Don't mind me. They didn't really distract me test drive, it's just I completely missed my breaking point. No fault to m but... No fault to anyone but me. I thought I could... Uh, break later for that shitty hairpin that I thought I could, er, yeah. I thought I could break later for that shitty hairpin than I actually could. So... <laughs> Doesn't matter, I still win. Evans manages to take second. Mueller third, Rossi down to fourth. I'm sure some of that was caused by them having the checkup because of my re entry right in front of their faces. Oops. Oh well. So, uh, that wasn't almost a uh, fucking massive botch there, but still got the win. So, uh,. That shall do it for the, uh, yeah, for the supercar open. All the races done, and that'll conclude all the semi-pro body style races. So, with that, we shall move on to our next semi-pro event type column in the next segment. What will it be? Well, you'll just have to find out. Stay tuned for more Forza.